Although, unfortunately, uh, Honorable Clark, and I would really beg this 13th Parliament that we allow each other time to be heard, because the Honorable TJ Kajuang has a right to raise whatever issue he wants to raise, and we all have a right to respond, and eventually the presiding officer will probably make a determination. But allow me to just go straight to some of the issues that the Honorable TJ Kajuang has raised. And it is indeed true that one can only be elected a speaker if you are not a sitting member of parliament. That includes members of the Senate. But it is also not true what the Honorable TJ Kajuang alleges, that the Honorable Senator Wetangula resigned on the 9th of August. It is indeed preposterous for the Honorable TJ Kajuang to make an allegation in this house that he cannot substantiate by way probably of tabling a copy of that letter that he purports the Honorable Senator Wetangula resigned on the 9th of August. It is also in my own Honorable, Honorable um, Clerk that the Honorable Moses Wetangula indeed resigned two days after the gazettement of senators by IEBC in the Kenya Gazette. And those are facts. And I want to believe, Madam Clerk, that in your office, you have a copy of that letter, which the Honorable TJ Kajuang does not have. What is purporting here can only be equated to what they said was opaque. <laughs> Honorable Speaker, Honorable Speaker, it is also not true that indeed when the constitution that the Honorable T.J. Kajong is quoting says that the term of, the, of parliament ends, ended, uh, of the 12th parliament ended on the 8th of August. It is true for the Honorable T.J. Kajuang and myself and the Honorable Senator Wetangula who was a senator in the 12th parliament. But the office of the speaker exists in, in perpetuity. And until another speaker Today, as we speak, Madam Clerk, Speaker J.B. Muturi is still the Speaker of the National Assembly until a new Speaker is elected this afternoon. Yeah. Honorable Speaker, what's the Honorable T.J. Kajuang? And he knows because he's a seasoned lawyer. He knows what he's, te what he's telling the country on live television as a lawyer is not true because the speaker's office exists into perpetuity and it will until and unless we elect a new speaker. Speaker J.B. Muturi remains in office. In fact, as we speak, T.J. Kajuang, you know Speaker Muturi is seated in his office and transacting business. Indeed, <laughs> Honorable Speaker, let me not even belabor that point. Honorable Speaker, I just want to beseech that we do not spend a lot of time arguing things that uh, could be described as rumors, yeah. hot air, yeah. things that are opaque. Yeah. And Honorable Speaker, I would beg that you, Honorable Clerk, I would beg that you stick to the rules and procedures of this House and occasion the election of a new Speaker to progress without wasting much time. We saw these shenanigans in the bombers of Kenya the same people who are in bombers, some of them are here, Mr. Speaker, Honorable Chair, Honorable Chair, and I really want to beg that you, you do direct that we proceed. Thank you, Honorable Clerk. Um, Honorable members, I will allow two more members. I will allow the Honorable Wandai. Yes, it's a different issue. No, not about election of speaker. Okay, then I will allow the Honorable um, Duale, please. Honorable Madam Acting Clerk and the Returning Officer. Madam Acting Clerk, and I think I want to first to ask uh, the House that uh, it's great to welcome the new members and everybody here in the 13th Parliament. Honorable TJ, and I really want us to listen to each other, 
and then at the end of the day, we will vote. Honorable TJ raised two issues, and Honorable Ichungwa answered one. Honorable Madam Acting Clerk, I want to refer you to Article 74 of the Constitution. And it says, before assuming a state office, or acting in a state office, or performing any function of a state office, a person shall take and subscribe the oath of or affirmation of office in a manner and form prescribed by the third schedule under an act of parliament. Madam Acting Clerk and the presiding officer for this afternoon, until this morning, before I took an oath as a member for Garissa Township, I was not a state officer. And in that consequence, the Honorable Moses Masika Wetangula ceased to be the senator for Bungoma on the 9th of August 2022. From the 9th of August to this afternoon, the Honorable Moses Masika, before he submitted his resignation, is a senator-elect. Is a senator-elect. And so is not a state officer. And in that consequences, Madam Acting Clerk, in fact, my submission to you is that based on Article 74 of the Constitution and that you become a state officer on the basis when you take an oath or an affirmation, Honorable Moses Watangula, Senator-elect, was not under any legal or constitutional obligation even to resign. Resign from what? Resign from what? Because he is not a state officer. Two, Madam Speaker, and that is based on Article 74 of this Constitution. Two, Madam Speaker, the Honorable TJ has raised a report, an adverse report of this House, a resolution of this House that indicted Senator-elect and the candidate of this afternoon. Madam Acting Clerk, I want to prove to you that I had the privilege and the, to be a member of that 10th parliament in which Honorable TJ Kajuang was not a member. And that report was done by the Defense and Foreign Relations Committee in which a ranking member was the chair, the Honorable Eden Kainan. And based on that report, the Honorable Moses Wetangula stepped aside. Madam Acting Clerk, you know resolutions of this House is always based on further investigation by other agencies within the criminal justice system that this House doesn't have the tools and the equipment to do a serious investigation. So the resolution of this House was sent to other bodies, the way we do, to the DCI, to the Auditor General, to the AACC. And I want to confirm that those agencies have cleared Moses Masika Watangula and, and President Kibaki President Kibaki reappointed Moses Wetangula back to his ministerial position. So, Madam Speaker, facts speak for themselves. And, Mr. Speaker, let us not use the law selectively. Speaker, we need to vote. Today, we have an opportunity, Madam Speaker, all of us sitting here, apart from the nominated members, we have been dealing with the voters. But today we are voters ourselves. Yes, yes, yes. And we must exercise our constitutional right as 349 members. The law is very clear. Even if 
And I want to challenge, even if Moses Masika Wetangula did not resign and did not brought you a resignation letter based on Article 74 of the Constitution, the Honorable Moses Wetangula is not a senator of the 13th Senate, I mean of the 3rd Senate, because he has not taken the oath of office. And the moment all of us took an oath of office this afternoon, from morning, we now become state officers so that you can resign. So, Madam Speaker, let us not have a debate. Let us give chance. These members have an opportunity. They have a constitutional right. Madam, 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 Madam uh, um, Acting uh, Speaker, we have a very daunting task ahead of us. So that report was not tabled. As I think myself, Honorable Bandi, Honorable Kainan, there are very few of us who are in the 10th Parliament who know that report. So let us, those who want to vote for Kenneth Marende, I have served under him as a speaker. Those who want to vote for Moses Masika Wetangula, they will vote for him. Let us stop the sh uh, shenanigans and sideshows like the Senate, let us go and have a speaker so that next week we go to orientation and we start implementing the Kenya Kwanzaa Hustler Fund as fast as possible. Honorable members, eh? before.